Hello everybody, today we are going to be taking some TikToks and putting them to the test. Are they real or are they fake? I see a ton of TikToks and a lot of times I'm like, wait a second, this does not seem real. This seems like a cool tip, but they could be lying to me. So we're going to jump in game and actually test these TikToks to see are they real? Starting off with a TikTok that says the end destroyer. So we're going to destroy, oh, there is an end portal. Wait for it, setting up some redstone and then and then a lot of TNT. And that is all going into the end. So I assume the end is just getting absolutely destroyed. They don't actually show what the end looks like in this TikTok. This seems plausible on the surface. Okay, seems seems like this could happen. But then, is it, I mean, is, is Ignited TNT gonna actually explode the end? Let's test it out. It looks like they are in uh, the Bedrock version, or no, no, Java Edition, based off of the water. So we're gonna jump into Java Edition to test this out. Shout out to Dreas13 for notifying me about this TikTok. All you have to do is tag me in the comments of a TikTok you want me to test, and I'll be notified. Okay, so here we are inside of Minecraft, and we're gonna start off with the end portal frame. Obviously, you could find this in survival uh, if you went a looking. So this doesn't seem like, you know, you could build something above this in the normal game. I'm gonna leave one eye out of there. Uh, now we're gonna have to build up this TNT contraption situation. So I'm gonna build it a few blocks high because this seems like what they did. And this seems about right for this size. So we have a big open area that the water's gonna flow into and then some space for the TNT to be constantly ignited and then pushed down into that area. So I'm going to build where I believe all of their dispensers went and it looks like they had five per pe pe petal? I'm gonna call this a petal. It's, pe it's kind of like a petal of a flower. I don't, I'm just making this stuff up. Now you could technically do this in survival but like the TNT required <laughs> is absurd so you would have to have some type of creeper farm okay let's get this hooked up with redstone it looks like they were putting redstone on top of all of the dispensers so we're gonna add some blocks for our redstone to go along i'm going to go ahead and add the clock that they used right now because I don't want uh, this to go off with TNT in it. So they used this method for firing off redstone super duper fast, which does work. Uh, I am noticing that I, my redstone, I need to find two extra little ways to get rid of some redstone here. Okay, so this should work. This one over here, even though the redstone isn't reaching, that should power that block. So if I put something in there, yeah, see it dispenses out. So we've got our redstone working. I'm going to fill each dispenser with lots of TNT. Okay, I think that we are just about done. Every single one of these has way more TNT than should ever be allowed to exist in the game. And we've added that. Now let's add our water. Okay, that looks good. Now one thing before we actually start this is I do want to actually go into the end make sure that it exists okay so it has oh see it may not have been existed before because i never actually went through the portal now let's go back to the overworld okay this should be all set up here we go hopefully i don't blow up everything and okay yes the tnt is going in it's working it's extremely loud holy moly Okay, I'm actually gonna turn down that, that this is way too loud. Okay, let's go through and see if this is working on the other side. Oh man. Okay, well, okay, oh. Yes, it is, it is working. Okay, that blew up <laughs> quite a lot of stuff. It stopped though, now, the, now it's stopped. So I guess that that area was unloaded. Uh, and so no more TNT is coming through, but uh, it is blowing up a lot of stuff here in the end. This used to be full. It's going to take a while to get through all of this TNT. Holy moly, that is a lot of TNT being used. Kind of shocked my game isn't like super laggy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've let it run for a little bit longer. Let's turn this off. Oh man, that really does kind of get there uh, a little late. <laughs> 
Holy moly. Okay, and then let's go in. Let's see. Oh, and this is where my game, oh, I'm moving, and it's not moving. Oh, ooh. Oh, is my game crashed? What has happened here? <laughs> am I in the sky? What? <laughs> what is actually going on? Where am I? What is this? Oh, here, oh, I'm falling. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, okay, there we go. That is so crazy. It, uh, I guess it like didn't have this loaded for a long time and then it all exploded at once. So if you set this up in your world, you're probably gonna go through and die immediately. Uh, that is crazy. It is working. Uh, insanity. Next, TikTok. This is, uh, oh, an iron golem and a <laughs> snow golem. <laughs> Two golems together, okay. So if we can pause this right before they put on. That is so funny. So the bottom would make an iron golem. The top would make a snow golem. So if you stick the pumpkin in the middle right there, it'll make an iron snow golem. Okay, this is fishy. This is so fishy. I've never heard of this before. This seems like some type of mod that is being used, but I could be wrong. So let's jump in to Minecraft and test it out. Okay, to me that looked a little bit like Bedrock. So I jumped into Bedrock right in the start to see if this would work. And I, <laughs> like I said, I don't think it's gonna work. I think one of these two things, either the Iron Golem or the Snow Golem is gonna get spawn in here, and I think it's gonna be the iron golem. Oh, it's the snow golem. Oh, interesting. Well, okay, that was fake. Fake TikTok. Interesting that it was the snow golem, though, that uh, took precedence. Precedent took, it It was first. It's the thing that Minecraft thinks needs to be spawned first, and then the iron golem second. Could you imagine the insane creations we could make if this was, a behavior <laughs> in Minecraft. If this actually worked, uh, that would be crazy. I would love to see that, but uh, no, it, this is fake. Next, TikTok. Okay, this is cool commands. Part seven, what happened to part one through six? Shout out to Elise268 for sending this one over. So, execute at E, snowball. So we are looking at snowballs right at it. We're gonna fill a four by four, I a five by five area with air. Okay, I think I know what's gonna happen. You're gonna throw a snowball and then it's gonna delete stuff? Oh my gosh. Well, that is really, really cool. This is super obviously the bedrock version of the game. I really wanna test this out because that seems like an awesome thing <laughs> to do. And I kind of want to test this in Java as well. Will that work in Java? I don't think it will the same way. But let's jump into Bedrock. Okay, so here we are in Bedrock Edition. Uh, let's add our command. It's going to be slash execute. This is kind of not fun to type on because in the Java version, like you can just tab complete this stuff. It makes it a lot, way easy. But we're gonna do at E, and that stands for at entity, and we're going to say only the entity type of snowball. So that's what that means. These squigglies are location, so exactly where the snow ball is. And then we're gonna do slash fill, and this, I on Java Edition, I don't think you can add two commands in one. I guess you might can with the execute command, but you don't need the slash for sure. Anyway, we are going to fill uh, also near this thing. So you need two commands for the fill command, or two locations for the fill command. So we're gonna start off by doing two above, or two to the side, two above, and two to the other side, and then we're gonna do the exact same thing, below or to the other side, and so this is three-dimensional space. So we're just gonna do that, and then the thing that we wanna fill is air. So this should this should be, oh, you can't even see, my thing is in the way, here we go, there we go, uh, slash air. So this should be it, and uh, then I can minimize that, and there we go, okay. We're gonna take, put this to repeat and does not need redstone and that'll just mean that it's repeating over and over and over and over and over and over again and uh, that it is uh, uh, doesn't need like a redstone block to activate it so that should be working I have snowballs from the thing we did earlier so let's see 
oh my gosh, it works. And then you can also see all of the blocks filled going into my console there. That is insane. So if we throw that down there, holy cow, that is so cool. I'm going to throw this and then fall with it. Oh, it stopped. What? Do, do snowballs just stop sometimes? Did it, it didn't hit a thing, did it? Maybe it just got out of my, like it went too far away from the player, I think. This is just way too cool. So if I fall and then throw it, oh, ha, ah, oh, ha, ah, ha, ah, oh. <laughs> That's really cool. How many of these can I have before my game crashes? Like if I fall and then I throw, 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 oh, oh, ah, and I'm, I'm out of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Easy way to like get rid of blocks um, that you don't want anymore. I just delete over there and delete over here. You could do this also, I guess you could do the fill command, but you need to make sure that you're not accidentally filling where the snowball is going to go. So it works great with air because the snowball can't accidentally crash into air. I'm gonna change my command block output to false so that way we don't see the, you know, all the stuff getting filled in. And then let's m change this. Instead of air, which you can't see because I'm covering, let's say um, dirt. So if I throw this, <laughs> I am in <laughs> dirt. And yeah, it just stopped because it slammed into the dirt that it made. But this also doesn't have to be as big. So I could make this actually basically be right where it is. It will make make the dirt. There we go. That's the command for that. So will this? Oh, oh, no, no. It <laughs> just makes dirt right there. But I could change this back to air and it'll make a very small Oh, I guess it needs to have some lead up. Oh, interesting. So it needs to have enough space to go through the air that it itself is creating. Huh? Does that work? A little bit. No, it seems like two is like the magic number. We can go up to three maybe? Let's try that. Blah. Oh, oh, why does that not work? What did I break? Oh, I got... <laughs> I deleted the command block. I can't believe I deleted the command block. Okay, I set it up again, and there we go. Now not deleting the command block. Yeah, so that's pretty insane. Okay, I've made it huge. 10 now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the destroyer of planets. Let's try this in Java Edition. Okay, so here we are, execute and we're having an issue immediately with the selector. So we're going to need to do, an, I think an at uh, option, at e type equals snowball, sounds good. And then I don't know if I need any other, so I think I added, I added a position tag and then after that I need to say uh, like, now we need to, I think, run, fill, and then all of that. So it's a little more complicated. I think this might work. We're gonna change this to repeat, always active. There we go. Let's test this out. And, oh my gosh, it worked! Oh my gosh, that actually worked! That is crazy! It went way further than the other one and it looks like it doesn't do the very last oh oh well oh, never mind i lied it does do the very last layer of bedrock so interesting it's like kind of scarier because this snowball like it doesn't like leave like oh well i guess it did there i hit that falling sand i need to set the same thing <laughs> so that i don't get uh, all of that stuff happening in the chat, but it just keeps going and going. You can see it there. If I was to fall and then toss it, look at it go. Holy moly, that is cool. Okay, next TikTok. Stop looking for diamonds like this, and he throws out his pick. Instead, build this. So we're starting with a few slabs. So we got five slabs, uh, a trap door to make you crouch, okay. Then we're digging out some stuff, putting down a piston. Oh, oh, huh, okay. Now this is, I 
cannot tell what version of Minecraft this is on. I'll be straight up honest, I cannot tell if this is Bedrock or if this is Java. Let's try it in both. Um, but there's, it's been difficult to x-ray for a while now. They've gotten rid of a few of our easy x-ray hacks. So I really want to see if I can pull this off. Okay, first I'm going to try this on the surface. Sometimes you do need to be underground for some of these to work better. Uh, but let's try it first uh, just like this. So if I crouch down, then there was a piston there, a slab there. Oh, I do need to reach the edge of that. So we have to <laughs> have something so that I can uh, find the place to put the redstone block. Here we go. And, ooh, okay. Good initial uh, findings. And so this is sometimes what happens. And then how do I get out of it? <laughs> if I wanna leave, I think I just have to break it. I don't think there's some easy way to get out of that. So I'm gonna go underground because sometimes things won't show up until you're underground in the Java version. So we're gonna try that now. And I do have night vision on, which if you are going to try this yourself, I would also highly suggest having some night vision potions available to you, um, just because most likely where you're looking is not going to have any type of light. Oops, oh, what did I do here? Okay, here we go. And let's try this one more time. Oh, ha, ha. I can now x-ray through the floor. That is awesome. Let's try this in Bedrock. Although because it worked in Java Edition, I bet that this is a Java Edition exclusive. This poor world is just <laughs> destroyed. So let's try this on the surface. I have a feeling that it may not work over here because uh, the, you know how you can x-ray and all that stuff it works very, very differently across uh, across the two. Wait a second, this is not, am I flying? What's going on here? This is should work, right? Okay, survival game up. Wait, does this not, do you not, can you not crouch like this in Bedrock? I thought you could. What? <laughs> am I broken? What is going on here? Okay, this should work. Oh gosh, of course I'm in the wrong mode. Okay. If I, if I fly in to this, am I not going to crawl? Oh my gosh. It's, it's not, I keep saying crouching, but I mean crawling because that's what we're trying to pull off here. I'm like so suspicious of Bedrock Edition right now. So I think I figured it out. If we swim over here and then walk over here, we are in well, you can't tell, but we're in the crawling animation situation. Then I take redstone and I'm just dying. Okay, this is not, not work over here. I'm sorry, that is a Java exclusive. Next, TikTok, here we go. All of your Minecraft questions answered. And that is not a thing. <laughs> you cannot shoot arrows through a door. I don't think you can, at least. Uh, you can do that. You can name a sheep jeb and it has multicolored wool. Is that wool multicolored? Okay, wait a second. That is not actually a thing. And then, okay, wait a second. Okay, okay, okay. This person is just going on and on and on and on. We're gonna test those first three because that looks like a lot of stuff going on. We're gonna test, we're gonna test. No, I don't think any of this is real. Okay, we're gonna speed through these. First off, these doors, okay? When you shoot through a door, it stops. There's, that is not a thing where you can shoot into the window or through the window of the door. That was some type of mod. It's, uh, they look open, but they're not. Okay, I'll be, I'll be honest with you there. Okay, next, the whole sheep thing. So we need a sheep and then we need to name it Jeb underscore. So we do that with a name tag. Anyone can do this, and this is actually something you can do in survival, and it'll turn into a, I did it wrong. <laughs> I think it's Jeb with a lowercase j. There we go. This crazy multicolored sheep. It'll go through all the colors. Looks super duper cool, but when you shear it, 
It does not give you multicolor wool. That is not a thing. That was another type of mod or something like that. Okay, and finally, this end portal frame thing, I think just based off of the history of the last ones, it's gonna be fake as well. So they didn't have it lit quite yet, so we're gonna hold off on that. Then they had redstone and sticky pistons extending through where the portal goes. So we're gonna place down our pistons here and then finish up our portal. Yeah, it just breaks it and then, yeah, that's not, that's not, a, not a thing. This person's TikTok lied in all of them. So now you know what is true and what is fake. We have discovered two fake TikToks, three real TikToks, and hopefully you know a lot more about these so that if you play on the Java edition or the Bedrock edition, you can pull these off in your world. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, please subscribe, please comment down below. Make sure you follow me on TikTok and make sure that you mention the channel in the comments of a TikTok you're suspicious about at OMG Craft. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.